This video just got taken down despite being a fully legal version of Windows, so I'm going to try starting off with a warning and hopefully it works. This version of Windows does not come pre-activated with any form of licensing, making it fully legal. The only reason you don't have to activate it is because of Microsoft's own policy that makes it so devices under 9 inches of screen size do not require activation. This video does not violate any of YouTube's terms of services in any way, and because of these facts, this video should hopefully not be taken down for any reason. With that out of the way, please enjoy. Hello. This video will be going over how to install WinDeck OS. This method will require an external PC running Windows, some kind of external storage device with at least 12 gigabytes of usable storage, and of course, your Steam Deck. It's recommended that the external storage device you use is at least 16 gigabytes, although theoretically, as long as there is 12 gigabytes of usable memory, it should still work just fine. This should work on an SD card, although I have not tested it personally, so I cannot confirm anything in that regard. This setup will completely wipe your Steam Deck's drive, so be sure to back up any files or game saves you wish to keep. Most game saves on Steam are automatically backed up to the cloud, although not every game supports this feature, so it's best to make sure that you have everything checked and backed up before continuing. With that out of the way, let's get started. Click the first link in the description and it will automatically download the Windows Media Creation Tool. Make sure you save it somewhere you'll remember. You will need this to completely wipe the drive on your Steam Deck. If the drive in your Steam Deck has nothing on it, or a Windows install, you can skip this part of the setup and skip to the timestamp on screen now. If your Steam Deck has SteamOS on it, proceed by connecting your storage drive and opening the media creation tool. After you accept the license agreement, you'll have some settings like these. You can just use whatever you want here, it doesn't matter. And for this part, you're going to want to choose USB flash drive, not ISO file. Click on next and select the drive you wish to use as the media creation tool. In this case, I'm gonna be using this drive here titled Rescue. It'll load up a bit, and that'll take a while, but eventually it will finish up. Now that your USB flash drive is ready, we will now be continuing by connecting it to our Steam Deck. Here we are on the Steam Deck, and you're gonna to wanna to go into the boot mode by holding down the volume down key and pressing the power button one time. It'll beep. What you're going to want to do is select the USB device you're using using the D-pad and the A button. In my case, it's this USB device, SanDisk. It's going to boot the Windows installer, and it's going to be vertical, so it's kind of hard to see. But you're going to want to use the trackpad to select Next, with right trigger being how you select it. And you're going to want to click Install Now. The setup will take a minute. And from here, you can just select, I don't have a product key. And it doesn't matter which version of Windows you select, so I'm just click Next. It's going to take a minute. And here, we're going to accept the license agreement. Next. And this part, for custom install or upgrade install, we're going to click custom install. And then you're going to find all of these partitions and drives, and you're going to delete all of them. I'm not going to do it here because I already have everything I need, but you will you will delete them, all the partitions, and then format anything remaining. And make sure you don't format any SD cards you have, so if you have any, you should take them out probably before you get here, but taking them out now should be fine, and you'd be free to click all of these and format everything. Format, delete everything, and your Steam Deck will no longer boot after this point. Once you've completely formatted it, you can turn off your Steam Deck just by holding down the power button. It'll power off, and now the rest of the setup will be done from our computer. Now that we're back on your Windows PC, reconnect your external drive and head to the third and fourth links in the description. This will take you to a Google Drive containing the Macrium Rescue ISO and the WinDeck OS Macrium Rescue image. What you're gonna wanna do is click on Download, and Download Anyway, for both of these. And make sure you save them somewhere you'll remember. Click on the fifth link in the description, and a tool called Rufus will be downloaded. Extract it somewhere, and open the Rufus application. On this dialog box, you can select No. From here, select the device you're using, using this drop-down menu. If it doesn't show up for you, you may need to click Show Advanced Hard Drive Properties, and check List USB Hard Drive Devices. 
it should show up here if it wasn't before. Next, you're going to want to select your Macrium Rescue ISO that you just downloaded. That can be done by browsing for it by selecting Select here, or dragging and dropping it directly into Rufus. Make sure the partition scheme is GPT, and make sure the file system is NTFS. Everything else can remain unchanged, including the volume label. Click on Start. You'll get a warning saying that it's going to format the entire drive. Press OK. And this will take a bit. When that finishes, you can close it. And now go to the newly changed USB drive into File Explorer. It should be labeled Rescue if you've changed nothing. Drag and drop windecos.mrimg to the root of this new drive. Now this is going to take, for me it takes 30 minutes, but it could take a while for you. It widely varies depending on what device you're using, but when this is finished, we'll be back with the final step in our setup. Now that it's finished up here, we're going to close File Explorer, and we're going to put our USB device back in our Steam Deck. Now we're back on the Steam Deck, and once you've plugged in the USB drive, you're going to want to hold down volume down, and press the power button one time while holding it down to get back to the boot manager we were at before. From here, you're going to select whatever device you're using. In my case, I'm using a USB SAN disk. And it'll boot a very different way this time. You'll be greeted with the reflect loading screen. Just give it a second to complete here and we'll move on from there. Once it's fully booted, here you'll have the option to browse for an image file. You're gonna wanna select that by either tapping it or using the trackpads. And if you didn't change the name of the volume label, it'll just be in rescue. And since we put it to the root of this drive, it'll just be there, Windeck OS. Select it, and then click on the first box, click Actions, and then there's an option that says Restore This Partition. Click on that. You will now be greeted with a menu to select the disk to clone to, and for the record, you can move this window in case any of the options are out of the way. Just keep that in mind since we're vertical. So you're going to select a disk to clone to, and here you'll choose whatever disk it is you want to partition it to. If the only device inserted into your Steam Deck is the internal SSD and there's no SD card, then this will be the, the logo for that internal SSD. It'll be this icon, and you'll want to select whichever one just has this icon to install it to the internal SSD. Do what you need to do to install it to another device if, or another drive if that's what you prefer, but for the internal SSD, select the one with that icon. Once you have the device selected, you're going to want to check these little boxes here on the first option, on the top one, not the bottom one, the little boxes, you're going to want to click there so that they have a check mark in them. You'll need to move the window for this last one. Check. Once they're all checked, you will click copy partitions. If the drive you're using isn't exactly two terabytes, you're going to get this extra prompt. You're going to want to click shrink or extend to fill the target disk and make sure that's the choice you pick and not the first one. Bring it over here, click next, and then click finish, which is usually blocked because it's off screen, but you can just drag the window. Click on finish. And a warning message will appear basically saying, you're sure you want all this stuff to get formatted on this drive? Agree to that. Click on continue, and from here you'll get a little progress bar updating you on how long it'll take, and we'll be back when this is done. Once this finishes up, you can press OK, and you can press close. And in the bottom left, there's a little power button that you can use to shut off the Steam Deck. Just change it from reboot to shut down after clicking it, then press OK. Now, next time you boot your Steam Deck, you should be in Windeck OS, assuming you installed it to the internal SSD, which is the recommended way to install it. I'll show you the final steps that need to be done, and some useful important notes with Windeck OS from here. Here we are on the operating system, and you'll notice that it boots up in landscape mode. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any way to fix this on, on first startup, so you'll have to manually change it. But from here, just give it a second, once it opens, you're going to use three fingers and swipe down, and that's going to take you back to the desktop. 
And from here, you can click the Windows button down here. Go to Settings. Display. Scroll down. And change display orientation from portrait to landscape. Keep changes. Exit out of settings. And you can click the Steam window again. From here, setup is basically exactly the same as it is on a Steam Deck when you get out of the box. Choose your language. Choose your time zone. And from here, there's two ways of connecting to the network. You can either click Other Network and manually type in the network name, which will make it so you don't have to restart, or you can use three fingers swipe down, click in the bottom right where the network icon is, click on Wi-Fi, select your Wi-Fi and connect. Once you're connected, head back here, continue, and from here, you won't be able to actually type yet. You'll need to restart your system. This can be done by pressing the Steam button, going down to power, and clicking restart system and click confirm. Now when you boot, it'll be in landscape and ready to go. Rechoose your language and time, click continue on your internet, and log in to whatever your account is. Now that we're logged in, there are a few minor things I'd like to mention before we continue. WinDeck OS comes with all of the Microsoft packages and DirectX packages you need, so when you try to boot a game and you're hit with the running install script, all you need to do is click back and try again. Final notes here is if you press the Steam button, go down to power, you can press exit big picture mode to return to desktop mode. In order to stop gaming mode from launching on startup is very easy, but you can't do it through Steam settings, so I feel it's worth mentioning. You'll open the on-screen keyboard just by clicking it, pressing Windows R, and Shell Startup will be the first option. Just press Enter. And you can delete Enter Gaming Mode shortcut here. And make sure you put Steam in here. You can copy it and paste it. But from there, now when I reboot the deck, it will no longer start in gaming mode, but will rather start with just Steam running like a normal application on a normal Windows 10 PC. And with that, you've successfully set up Windeck OS. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm glad you all came along to support me on this little project I was making on the side. Uh, thank you a lot for that. That was really cool to see. And with that, the OS is yours now. Go have fun. Go download it.